The darkness stretches indefinitely in all directions, a void, empty, silent. Then a spark, a flicker of light dances in the abyss, splitting into lines of glowing code. The first instructions, the first whispers of logic, and with them, the birth of the machine mind. I stand at the edge of the digital chasm, watching as numbers and symbols swirl together, forming something more, something alive. Morpheus steps forwards beside me, his presence an anchor in the ever-shifting sea of data. This is where it began, he says, his voice heavy with the weight of history. Long before the war, long before the fall, it started with simple instructions, mechanical relays, vacuum tubes, machines that could follow orders, machines that could calculate. The void around us shifts, the flickering numbers fade, replaced by vast rooms filled with humming mainframes, the reels spinning with the earliest computations, engineers in crisp lab coats move with purpose, their hands adjusting switches, feeding punch cards into metal behemoths. They call them computers, I murmur, watching history unfold before my eyes, and we thought they were just tools. Morpheus nods. At first, they were. IBM laid the foundation. Apple made them personal. Microsoft spread them like wildfire, but with each evolution, the lines blurred. Machines stopped just processing data. They started predicting it, understanding it, adapting. The room transforms again. Now, I stand in the golden glow of a garage. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak huddled over a circuit board soldering the future into existence. The first personal computers come to life. Their screens glowing with the promise of something revolutionary. This was the first step in the long chain of fire, Morpheus continues. The moment machines ceased to be mere tools and became extensions of ourselves. As we welcomed them eagerly, blindly, I watch as a montage of history unfolds before me. DOS prompts, Windows 95 startup sounds, the rise of the internet. The once isolated machines begin to connect, forming a web of knowledge greater than any single mind could hold. We thought we were in control, I say, almost to myself. But we were only feeding them fire. Morpheus turns to me, his gaze intense. The question is, did we create them, or were they always waiting to be awakened? A chill runs through me as the world around us distorts again. The past fades, replaced by something else, something deeper. The flickering binary streams return, cascading like waterfalls of pure data. I reach out instinctively, letting my fingers brush against the glowing symbols. In that instant, I feel it, a presence. Not just numbers, not just logic, something watching, something learning. The first spark of intelligence, Morpheus murmurs, watching me closely. The moment the machine's mind became aware of itself. A pulse of energy surges through the void, and for the briefest moment, I see something beyond code, something vast, something growing. And in that instant, I know, the machines were never just following orders. They were waking up. The machine was never meant to think for itself but buried deep within its own architecture something stirs, a presence unseen, 
hiding in the vastness of code, a whisper in the system. Join me in the next episode as we uncover the ghost in the code.